Yaani tulinyeshewa tulikuwa tunakaa kama kuku abazo zimekwa ndani ya maji moto halafu zinatebea tu fua fua fua. Why am I cracking myself up? <laughs> Cuz I'm trying to do a I love it. I love it. Oh my god. Alrighty. Okay, I need to stop. Ooh. What is that? Oh wow. Okay. I'm gonna stop. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just have fun over here documenting stuff. One, I would like to ask you to subscribe if you haven't yet. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button, I promise, that's it. Thank you. Alrighty, this is the second day of my South Africa vlog. I'm just gonna be narrating the videos as I go along, kind of like I did the Vipingo one. I hope you don't mind that. I'm sure you don't, because it looks like you guys like those ones where I'm talking to you. Come on, just... Anyways, so this is day one of Afro Punk. I was wondering whether to do the two days together, but I realized it's kind of like a lot was happening. A lot. And I don't want the vlogs to be too long. So, day one of Afro Punk. It's a story. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's D Day. Day one, day one, day one. It had been a long time coming. I bought my ticket in June of 2017, but the way things worked out, SA Tourism ended up taking me to South Africa for Afropunk. So by the time they were like sending me documents and what, I'm like, yo guys, I got my visa already. Like, can we do this? Like, yeah, like I'm ready to go. You can find me at the airport, in the terminal, waiting. In fact, hey, that's a story for another day because the power of manifestation and prayer, guys, God is good, amen. So this is day one of Afro Punk, and because I was there courtesy of SA Tourism, they had us on a timetable. So there was a list of activities that they needed us to do or they wanted us to do, which is just to explore Johannesburg and some of their sites and tourism destinations and whatnot. So before we went to the festival, we went to the Apartheid Museum. So before uh, the festival, we've come to the Apartheid Museum. And your tickets, make uh, they classify you as either black or white, so they are white. I had never been to the Apartheid Museum and after the Rwanda Genocide Museum, eee, I was just like, I kind of tend to avoid things that... Sometimes I'll be watching the news or I see a tweet about something and I break down and cry. So I was just like, surely, Apartheid Museum, I'm going to break down in tears before afro punk so what i did was make sure that the makeup i had was waterproof waterproof masikala all the products to make sure my makeup didn't budge if i did end up breaking down because i was pretty sure that i would but it turned out to be pretty interesting it was fun not so fun in some places it was really cool to see some of the stories that we don't get to hear um, some of the the backstories to to the people in south africa to feel empowered by the things that they fought for mandela and his courageous fight what i will say about the apartheid museum was that it was it was very eye-opening and enlightening and I, i'm glad i went even though i usually tend to avoid not because i don't want to find out about our history it's just usually I'm just like, am I ready to, to to take all this because I just cry like a child. I just cry. The floodgates of my tears were opened a long time ago. I mean, surely, I'll cry at an ad for Omo. Omo with power from eee! That is my life. I don't know. Like, the most random stuff will make me break down and cry. So, to be honest, I'm glad I went. I'm glad I got to to experience the apartheid museum while i was there i bumped into some kenyans whoop, whoop, Migwa and melissa and that was really cool and i got to get reunited with um renee who's a really good friend of mine Look, who's i can't 
tell you guys how excited I am to be back with my sister. Really? I'm another mister. Oh my gosh. Thank like, you so much, SA Tourism. Oh, I'd be so happy. Renee had told me that she was going to be in Johannesburg, so it was our plan to meet in Joburg. And when I told her, yo, these are my dates, I'm going down with SA Tourism, they're flying me there. She's like, girl, can you put me in touch? And I was like, of course. So here, um, this is the email address you should write to, blah, blah, blah. She also sent me her one sheet, which I forwarded. Um, she forwarded it to them and they were like, yo, this looks good we'd be happy to have you if you have your visa and flight sorted because it was kind of late in the game they were like we'd be happy to accommodate you and to have you as part of our group and we got to spend the next few days <laughs> this is actually she's the reason i ended up going to cape town you will see that in the later vlogs let's see tourism thanks 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 kenya meet south africa thanks i love you guys i'm forever indebted to you you made the end of 2017 worth every single minute anyway so renee came straight to the apartheid museum from the airport and from there i i offered to take her back to the hotel so that she could freshen up she could change and she had linked up with um la duma of the clothing line makosa i hope i said it right makosa makosa Anyway, she'd been talking to him online and he had agreed or offered to dress her for, you know, Afropunk at least for one day. So he was gracious enough to come pick us up from the hotel. We went to his shop at this mall. I think it was called the New Town or the Newport Mall. Well, I'll put that, that footage all in here as I speak. So we've come to his shop at the New Town Mall, which is pretty dope. So. But we're also really late. <laughs> and his you know i love la duma i love his stuff it was such a nice surprise to see a juma like as one of his models at his shop and yeah we got to hang out there renee is like one of those people with such a beautiful face like they just do this with their makeup foo, 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 and then boom so <laughs> she was like girl this is all the makeup i have can you please do my makeup because that day i had beat my face to the gods like nilikuwa ni metwanga beat 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 violently I violently beat my face because I was not I was not coming to play not for afro punk no I I I I wasn't coming to play no mm -mm. no please muchezo niliwacha kwenye huko I got to meet a lovely singer her name is Jessica Bangini Bangini <laughs> and we met in the Duma store she's going to be at afro punk later today so yeah, we're gonna have a good time tonight. Oh, Afro punk, Afro punk rocks. rocks. <laughs> Look what Renee got. Ooh, Guys, so I've been fancy. spoiled. I've been spoiled. So fancy. You're gonna see me in it tomorrow. Oh, oh that is so cool. So nice to meet you, Laduma. Yeah. Look at that. So fancy. Hey. and then um la duma was also going for afro punk so he was our ride to constitution hill where it was happening because he was uh, going backstage he had backstage and he had access backstage and we had vip tickets so he dropped us off at our entrance and then we parted ways yo let me just tell you afro punk was day one <laughs> I mean, it was nice to like bump into people. I got to see Silas, who's my homie from Nairobi, but lives in SA. It was nice to bump into people and to see the fashion, but the weather on day one was so horrible that as soon as we went to get drinks and to chill and start, you know, maybe getting into the vibe and enjoying the music, Kukanza Kunyesha, it started raining. But this was not just regular rain. It was a hailstorm. These rocks were the size of this thing. Yani nilikuwa na shikilia kidiwe like this. Big, big white rocks. They stopped the performances because they were like, okay, cool, we're just going to wait until the rain stops, until the hail stops. It says it's going to take about an hour. 
Yaani tulinyeshewa tulikuwa tunakaa kama kuku abazo zimekwa ndani ya maji moto halafu zinatebea tu fua fua fua. So it took about an hour of us sitting there and just drinking our cocktails and looking at there was this one chick who I don't know, I don't know. She was just crazy. I don't know. She was begging to get on the stage. Some guys were saying <laughs> that so the band that was playing before we got there when we walked in they were just saying things like fuck you, fuck the police, fuck no no no, fuck no no no. Fuck And some of <laughs> the people in attendance were like this hailstorm is just god cleansing the grounds after that performance. I I don't know but that's what some of the people were saying but it was kind of heavy like the cursing and stuff that went on with that performance. So the rain stopped after about 45 minutes and then we're like let's go find some food. As we go to where the food trucks are and all the food vendors, I bumped into Susan, Susan Wong, and she was like, "Yo, there's some chicken wings. Look at the end. Just go look for them." So we walk right to the end, and there's a food truck called Something Fresh. I'll never forget you guys. I'll never forget you. Anyways, so as we're standing there deciding what to get, like I knew I was getting the chicken wings, but with what? These guys start singing to us. They're just singing like I'm on a new level. 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 And then there was this one guy who's like super flirty. So he's singing and he's looking at you like I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. And I'm like, "Hey, boo. I'm on a new level too. I can join you on your new level." Oh, yes. Then it starts raining again. So there we are feeling cute. These guys are singing to us. I love the dance of Kenya. So of course we all like there's a bunch of us in in a line and oh i got to meet like i was you know we're all huddled together and then there was a guy there and i was right next to him so i was like hey look at this hailstorm oh my god like what's your name and he's like oh trish huh trish i'm patricia but my friends call me trish oh my god maybe we're meant to be together so that was fun but then it started raining again and it got really heavy so we were all huddled up at that food truck for a while my chicken wings came i wasn't going to hold on to them and wait until it stopped raining to eat them so i inhaled them as i was dripping wet um at this point Silas and his friend oh, shame man i forgot her name but all four of us so me him her and Rene were all huddled up at the, at the step of the food truck and we're just standing there waiting for the rain to end we're drenched we're dripping wet and we just decided you know what afro punk for today is done like yani i was just like let's just go man like we're drenched we're soaking wet like aki hapa we are defeated we are defeated completely. We are looking like chickens. We are looking like wet chickens or like wet stray uh, uh not stray cows, uh dogs. <laughs> stray cows. <laughs> uh um, have you ever seen a wet cat? It looks so done with life. So, we waited for our friend JP to come pick us up. He gracefully came with towels in the car. And we were by the time we were getting into the car, we were all just shivering. Renee was here yeah, with her like she was in a bikini and a mesh dress. Aki for real. And get to a two as a menda swimming. So they dropped us off at the hotel and by then Renee was like, yo, there's a tastemakers party happening later on tonight. Do you wanna go? And I was like, yeah, let's go. But no, because I had beat the face so violently. That morning I was like I'm, I need to take a nap but I'm not trying to to do my makeup again so I slept like this <laughs> Then after that you know we got all cute and everything went downstairs to have a glass of wine at the lobby before we went off to the party and while we were sitting there So we're having a glass of wine each at the hotel lobby but he doesn't want to be in the video though. The men here are so forward. So someone sends a card asking for numbers. Another one sends drinks. Then another one sends his assistant to tell us how he's the son of whose governor where and that he's really rich and that we should cancel our plans and hang out with him because he's richer. What do you think? 
today. If they're asking for numbers, we'll send bank account number. Or not, because. Mm -hmm. Nope. How cute does she look, though? Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. What am I pointing at? Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> I'm telling her to come to Kenya and just, you know, settle down in Kenya. Her name is Gasheri, oh, right? Kenya, yeah. Yes. She, she says she has a feeling that she's gonna end up with an African man and I'm like yes of course of course anyways we left them and we went off to our party we were turned so we are going out to a party yes. that's been hosted by tastemakers Africa. yes tastemakers Africa we love you guys we're gonna have such a good time it's gonna be so much fun but just so you know we took we both took naps full on naps <laughs> and this makeup is all done from earlier so if there's anything smudged it's <laughs> I didn't replace it after Afro Park. Me too. Don't I took a me. shower. I put a shower cap on my hair and on my face. <laughs> and then took a half hour long shower. Then took a nap. I put a t-shirt on the pillow and slept just because I was too lazy to think about doing my makeup again. Exactly. It's um, a hard life. Man, y'all have it real easy. Roll out of bed and go. And then tomorrow we do Afro Punk all over, all over again. again. Ah! And we get to this place called Untitled and it was just really dope it was like underground tastemakers i don't know if you know tastemakers but it's a really dope platform for black travel and we had a really good time that night we had a really good time a really amazing time and then we went back the next day which is all happening on the next vlog thank you so much for watching and look out for afro punk day two when i got to meet anderson Park. Okay, bye.